Well, welcome to this next SCBA reflection. Love and greetings from all the team to you as always. I brought you here to the New Forest, which you may have guessed by one or two ponies that are behind me. But the main reason for coming here today was not actually to come and see the ponies, but to spend some time with my mentor. I've been thinking of doing a reflection on mentoring for a little while, and I was struck particularly by Dave's reflection last week on hide and seek when he was thinking about Freddie Flintoff and and at the end of that reflection he encouraged us to seek out people that we journey with. I think it's such an essential part of our ministry to have people that we can that can support us that can pray for us that can encourage us. I'm struck particularly by the passage in Ecclesiastes uh, where the writer says this two are better than one because they have a good return for their labour. If either of them falls down one can help the other up but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them. Also if two lie down together they will keep warm but how can you keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Many re refer to this passage when they talk about marriage. But actually this passage is about friendship. It's about journeying together. It's about supporting each other. It's a mentoring passage. It's a passage that encourages us to find people that believe in us and would journey alongside us. So what I wanted to do is to share with you on this occasion a, a poem or some words that I wrote for the 2019 Leaders Conference. And so the rest of this reflection is that poem and I hope it will be helpful to you and encourage you and inspire you again to seek out those people that you walk with. It's not good for man to be alone. Words from our beloved designer of significance and wisdom, spoken over his highest creation and friend, a man they call Adam. Words spoken over all who will follow after the one who was before, so that we might know that alone we are less, but with we are more. Alone I am silent, uncertain, lost without direction and plan, lacking courage and belief in the child of God that I am, losing sight of the mighty, the blazing King of glory, losing sight of him and how I fit into his story. So why would I consider opening up my soul? To allow another person to discover that I'm really a fool. To reveal my deepest disappointments and uncover my unseen frown. To release the imprisoned person and to let loose the embarrassing clown. Why would I offer myself to another in a fragile, vulnerable state? To open my life for comment and critique over a thousand mistakes? To admit my fear and to be found out that I'm full of excuses, fear, deceit and doubt? Yet I was made with the need for an outside of me light, someone to help support and guide me, an external insight to fulfill my potential and to become what the creator intended. I need a friend to journey with to whom I'm connected. The companion, the believer, the confident, the humble intention, the comment, the correction, 
the suggestion, the spirit's direction, the listening, the smiling, the disagreeing, the one who is praying, the wisdom, quiet leading, the confession, the iron, sharpening iron. I'm not alone in my quest for a friend with a reflective view. Adam, Moses, Elisha, Peter, Saul, just, just to name a few. It seems to me that the pattern of Jesus of companionship, empowerment, believing and sending has always included the precious gift of befriending. Together, we can go further, wider and deeper. Becoming aware of self and practice and awakening the sleeper. Refusing to settle on what has been done in the past, but instead arising to the new challenge of the next God-given task. So let's stand together alongside our brother and sister, sharpening each other minister and leader for the glory of God who gave us his son let's covenant together until his work's done mentoring is so important in our lives if you'd like to know more about how to find a mentor please just uh, pick up the phone or drop us an email talk to your regional minister or come direct to me and we'd love to help you find someone that can journey alongside you. May God bless you. May God go with you. May God bring the right people to journey alongside you.